How many teeth does a polar bear have? Polar bears have 42 teeth. Their teeth and jaw are perfect for their carnivorous diet. The large, elongated canines help them grab and control prey. The sharp molars help them chew and break down their prey. Why do polar bears need the long necks? Polar bears have the longest neck out of any of the bear species in the wild kingdom. Polar bears spend a lot of their time swimming, and that long neck and cone-shaped head allow them to have a streamlined approach when they swim and make it very efficient. Polar bears spend a lot of their time hunting seals on the sea ice. Ring seals will build these breathing holes into the sea ice that are circular, and they'll pop their heads out to catch a breath of air. That's when polar bears will make their attack. Round hole, it's nice to have a long neck and a cone-shaped head to get your head as far down that hole when that seal tries to escape back into the water. And I want to know how long the polar bear's necks are. Well, that really depends on the size of the individual. The biggest necks are on the adult males, and they can get up to two feet in length. Why do polar bears have long noses? A polar bear nose is actually even bigger than what you can see from the outside because they have this uh, really fine bone structure inside of their nose. First of all, it helps heat up the air that the bear breathes in, which is a lot better for the lungs because it can be really hard if you breathe in very cold air. Also, this increased surface uh, of the polar bear nose is the reason for its incredible sense of smell. How do polar bears stay nice and warm? The bear is covered in fur fuzzy layer, some short hair on the bottom, and that thick fuzzy layer really traps the heat in for the bear. And then on the outside there's some longer hairs, and these hairs act as a more water repellent layer. And so it's kind of like the bear is wearing a really cozy sweater and then a more water resistant jacket on top. The other thing bears have is a really thick layer of fat, and so fat is also a really good insulator. I want to know when polar bears were discovered. 2,000 years ago or so, we do have evidence from old uh, dated carvings from indigenous peoples in Chukotka, so far eastern Russia, that show polar bear imagery. My question is, do polar bears hibernate like other types of bears? Pregnant female bears do indeed hibernate in the winter. They go into dens, into the snow, or into the ground around November and then they don't come out again until around March. During that time, they survive by using up stored energy inside of their bodies. They also slow down the rate at which they use that stored energy to make it last as long as possible. They also give birth to their little cubs during hibernation. However, female bears that are not pregnant and male bears don't hibernate in the winter. What does snow down look like? Uh, they can be small or they can be really big, uh, almost like an ant farm, you know, with a lot of little tunnels and chambers. It can be very cool, like a really cool snow fort. It could be kind of a blue-green color inside because of the, the, the light. Or it could be very dark if they're deep inside the snow. But the walls and the ceiling are oftentimes scratched um, with the claws and have claw marks from mom and cub. Because why do they have really big claws? Polar bears have really big claws. You'll see that they're also quite curved and very sharp at the end. This helps them grab onto slippery prey animals such as seals. It also helps them gain traction as they're walking along the sea ice. Why is the polar bear's ice melting? Earth's atmosphere is like a heat trapping blanket. But humans have thickened Earth's heat trapping blanket too much and now Earth is too warm. We've been burning fossil fuels and releasing too many emissions into the atmosphere. Emissions trap more heat. When it gets too warm, sea ice melts. But we can stop sea ice from melting from stopping those emissions. So if we use less fossil fuels, so if we drive less and don't heat our homes as much and use cleaner fuels like solar and wind, we can help keep sea ice around for a really long time. Our question is, if the polar bear becomes totally extinct, 
what could be the consequences? And if they're going extinct because there's no more sea ice, we'd see a completely different uh, ecosystem in the Arctic. So probably one that's dominated by killer whales at the top of the food chain. If we just think of no more polar bears, we know that from many other places, top predators have a big influence on the ecosystem. So without those top predators, we're really losing and changing that ecosystem a lot. Thank you for all these great questions. On International Polar Bear Day, we hope that you'll join us in bundling up for polar bears by taking the thermostat challenge. Just lower your thermostat one or two degrees to save energy for polar bears, and then make it a habit. Share your photos on our social media sites of how you bundled up. You could also make a donation or adopt a polar bear to support our work. Together, we can sustain a future for polar bears and their sea ice home.